there, pool people. It's the pool guy. This morning, I am exercising some motors. It's pretty cold today. Well, at least for Texas, it's cold. So, making sure that the motors aren't going to seize up on me. I've got some uh, high chlorinated water going through the system right now. Just uh, ensuring that I don't have a blow up of some algae in the pipes. So cleaning everything out, exercising the motors. I've got them at full blast. I'm not running them all right now because I don't have the pool completely full. All of these are 50 horsepower motors. Now you see I've got six sitting here. These six motors power a tower with five slides. I've got one slide that's a toilet bowl, so it requires water at the start tub, at the top, and of course in the bowl it has a uh, it need, has a need for water as well. All you cool people who understand and know what this is. It's a Defender filter by Neptune Benson. This was actually running my uh, the same filter or the same uh, pool that I'm pulling all this water out of. The pool that this is coming out of, approximately 180,000 gallons. Uh, I'm probably moving, I don't know off the top of my head, but if I were to calculate it, it's gonna be uh, it's a two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, so 1,400 gallons, uh, 14,000 gallons a minute. Take a quick walk so you can see the search pit. Yeah, takes pretty low. Definitely shouldn't be that low. Highly chlorinated, I can smell it, which is good. I need to wash uh, the entire pool, so highly high chlorination right now is okay for me. Good shocking. So that's my return from the uh, from the pool itself. 30 inch main line, main drain. Actually makes it nice because I don't have a lot of turbulence turbulence in the uh, in the search pit itself. See, I'm about I'm about nine inches too low in the tank, so that means about nine inches too low in the pool. Probably put some fresh water in today. Give it some time to fill back up. You can tell I got it highly chlorinated. The pool's even a little cloudy. PH is probably going to be a little high too right now. Alright, so correction. These are 40 horsepower motors. These are tech top. Uh, pushing an Aurora pump. If you're a pull person, you know exactly what Aurora is. The pumps, the impellers. We'll probably bust these open, take a look at the, uh, the balut, make sure it's in good shape. And here's why, if you notice, I, uh, I don't have catch baskets before the pump. It is what it is. You know, do what you can do. Nonetheless, Good motor, good pump, does well. I'm pushing them with VFDs, uh, Bishy Bishy VFDs. Some of these, uh, some of these pumps are uh, running at, uh, let's say, 80% capacity. I'm uh, able to do that with the VFD itself. I don't have to throttle down. So all these valves, all my valves here, are open 100%, and the bottom 100%. We only throttle down using the VFD itself, which is really nice. 
then I can save my motor. I don't have to, you know, it's not gonna hurt anything too much. Um, some of my other motors in the other uh, pump houses, I, I do throttle down um, with the valves. That's just because it makes it a little bit easier, especially if you've got um, if you've got a pump that's feeding two attractions or two uh, two pieces of equipment. Yeah, that's when I valve it off. But I still have it on BFD. A lot of times I'll I'll, I'll be able to throttle those back on BFDs um, and throttle back on the valve itself. Uh, these motors are pretty powerful. These pumps push a lot of water. Sometimes you don't need all that water. So uh, yeah, save the motor a little bit.